I'm Francine, bringing you more reviews, recaps, and rants on all your favorite K-dramas. This is Drama Buds, an anime podcast. So I kind of want to get into the situations where I decide that, yep, it's time to start watching this in 1.5 times speed, or it's time to start skipping every time I see this character. Just so you know that I am totally neutral about the issue, but I'm just trying to curb that habit for myself. So famously, I'm a theme girly, that when it comes to watching a drama, I focus more on what it's saying overall, what, what the point of this character's journey is, and the And yeah, the message of the show. And I feel like by skipping scenes, skipping entire scenes and entire dialogues, like, are you really getting the full picture of, of what it's trying to say? Even if I personally don't care for the characters or whatever, it's like, if it's saying something, if it's part of the theme of the show, then I, I stick through it, even if I don't like it. But the thing is, even if something is very meaningful, if I'm not vibing with it, I'm not vibing with it. But I still want to get what it's trying to say. I think the best example of this would be because this is my first life, where I know a lot of people say it's very meaningful. And so I was sticking it out for the meaning and for the theme and for the the dialogue and the discussion. Or run on, like I'm sure that's meaningful, but that's, yeah, I was just not vibing with it. And so I watched that entire thing 1.5 times speed because this is my first life. Honestly, I enjoyed it more when I was speeding it up. So yeah, I think I use speeding up when I know or I think it's important. Everything that they're saying is probably important. And I should probably know what they're saying. But I'm just not vibing with the show overall. Or I don't actually care enough about the style or the characters or the acting. Sometimes the acting bothers me. I cannot be bothered to spend an hour with these characters. I might as well just you know speed it up to 45 minutes. Or with shows that you know, have a, a packed plot, it's very plot heavy. And, you know, skipping scenes, like, especially if it's a mystery, skipping scenes would literally make you miss parts of the mystery. So you gotta be there. But yeah, I just don't care enough or I think it's too slow as a, as a thriller, as a mystery to uh, keep me engaged. And I'd rather just get the information that is necessary and then move on as fast as possible. I cannot give a, an example of a thriller or, or mystery type of show that I watched sped up. But yeah, I think I would do that in that situation. Now, when do I use fast forwarding, like abusing the plus five, plus 10 seconds feature on, on Netflix? Well, one very valid use for that, I think, is for scenes that are too graphic. For The Glory, the first episode barely watched it because I was skipping through all the bullying scenes. I just I couldn't handle it. I'm not particularly squeamish or very triggered by that. I can handle some gore. I can handle violence. But, you know, sometimes it's just too much. Uh, even for moving, for, for the first episode with Juon, episode 10, I think. That's my lowest rated episode because I just kept skipping through it. Like, I could not handle that much violence. I get the point. I get what the scene was trying to achieve. It's showing that he can take that much, but he doesn't get hurt. I get it. And, you know, it's a flex on the director's part and the production part. I get it. I don't have to see it. I got the message. I, I can skip through this. Or even in um Dr. Romantic 3… Uh, the one where So Jin's hand got impaled with like metal spikes or something. I'm I'm proud of Anyo Sop for his acting showcase. Good for him. But I couldn't watch it, so I I could not see his acting showcase. I get very squeamish with those like things with like nerves or oh my god childbirth scenes. Ah, I can't I can't handle it. I skip I skip through it most of the time. For me, that's totally valid use of fast forwarding. Do that as much as you need to because personally I could handle some of that, but yeah, sometimes I cannot. And in other cases, people fast forward through entire storylines, like entire stories of people. And hmm, well, I have done that for let's say side couples that I really don't care about, like well, Love Struck in the City. I, I don't even think it's fair to say that I watched that thing because I really skipped everything other than the main couple scenes. So yeah, I don't know anything about the two side couples and how they ended up the way that they ended up, but I skipped that. Or a drama with a similar format, again, because this is my first life, I skipped a lot of the the long-term couple scenes. Yeah, skipped a lot of their scenes as well. While I also watched that drama in 1.5 times speed. So yeah, clearly I did not really watch that drama for what it was. That's on me, but eh, wasn't vibing with it. What could I do? 
usually that's when I use just pure fast forwarding when I really don't care about the characters and I also think even if you're adding something to the theme of the story I don't even care anymore <laughs> I just can't waste my time on it I'm really only invested in the main plot or I'm barely even invested in the main plot why would I waste any more time